some treasures need a second or quite often even a third look to recognize their real value. The item in front of us now may look like a carbonized log before or after your Sunday barbecue, but in fact it is an ancient book, a papyrus scroll which was discovered in the ancient Roman holiday town of Herculaneum near the Bay of Naples in the mid-18th century. In 79 AD, the town and the entire city was covered with volcanic ashes after the eruption of Mount Vesuvius, which carbonized the entire city, its inhabitants and belongings, which explains the status of the object, carbonized, fragile and black. It turned out very soon that these layers of the scroll contain legible text, but how to get to the text, how to unfold the layers, was a mystery which many people tried to solve with various degree of success. This is why more than 1,000 of these scrolls remained untouched in various museums across the world, waiting for the great moment when technology is developed enough to offer us a view of the inside. Just to make sure that this case fits the actual scroll. So we need to do a dress rehearsal and make... At that time, the scroll was lying quietly in the Bodleian Library in Oxford, in a special box for more than 200 years. Flipped that over onto here, I think. The much expected day came in 2024. Right. At the scanner, mm -hmm. right. they have a little... When scientists from the University of Kentucky partnered with researchers at Diamond Light Source in Harvard in Oxfordshire, proposing to scan this scroll in a special scanner. Yes, putting it on is, is fine. In preparation of the journey, a special 3D print of the scroll was made, which we used to create a perfectly tailored container. We had to lift the scroll from its original box, place it very carefully in its new resting place and make it ready for the journey. Contrast it looks even, even more, more like a yeah. coffin now, doesn't it? <laughs> And from there, it was all on scientists, researchers and their computers. The new images were stitched together. Special AI technology was applied, which could reveal the inside of the scroll, and on top of that, the text could be distinguished from the background. Then breakthrough happened. Scientists could get to the final lines of the papyrus in the innermost part of the roll, where the title of the work it preserves was hiding for so long. And now, we know this scroll in front of us, even if it's carbonized, black and fragile, preserves a lost work by an ancient philosopher called Philodemos on human vices. After all these adventures, you may wonder how an object discovered around Naples found its way here to the Bodleian Library in Oxford. It was part of a curious gift which was given to King George III of England by the King of Naples, Ferdinand, in exchange of something you would not expect, 18 kangaroos from the recently discovered Australia. Having received the scrolls from Naples, the King was very hopeful that one day they can be read, and it is this hope he puts in this letter in which he donates the entire lot of scrolls to the University of Oxford, to the Bodleian Library. So the utmost caution is to be observed in persecuting whatever attempts may be made upon materials so delicate and fragile as these. George, the King of England. And he was right, his hopes were fulfilled. After 2000 years of silence, the scrolls start to reveal their content and speak to us.